beautiful people. Welcome to another video of Big Mama Jo's Fish Vissen. And I'm Big Mama Jo. I just startled my <laughs> walking catfish. Normally I tap on the window, window on the glass, and then he knows I'm here. But he was, I think he was daydreaming. I don't know. But let's talk about uh, this marvelous fish. And he is massive. I will show you. I will um, show it when I will measure, measure his whiskers with my hands. But this is the Clarius Bactragus. Bactragus. But this is a marbled one because he has three colors. And um, you see, he... he, he, <laughs> he um, how do you say it? He went through the substrate and all the particles are flowing. Um, I am i don't clean his substrate. He loves it when he goes through the sub substrate and it gets dirty. And So I'll give him that pleasure. And uh, look at his mouth and the whiskers. You can see that they're all, I think, small sensors. So small sensor, uh, uh, center thingies on there. And uh, if I put my hand against the window, or normally I kiss the window, but it's a little bit weird to show on camera. <laughs> then he knows I'm there. I think it's also because of the heat and the vibration. And that's why I tapped, but this time, as you could see, he got startled. And uh, the substrate, I've got sand because I don't want his whiskers to damage and some pebbles. And... Um, um, and a lot of snails, he likes snails, he, he kills them, but he also le lets them live. Look, look at here, there's a snail graveyard right right on the outside of his cave. I also let all the other things grow, I just let everything grow as it grows, the algaes and stuff like that. Because in their natural habitat, they don't live in in pristine clean water, so I'll just give him his messy setup. Well, it's not really a setup. Uh, I had a different setup, but uh, I've taken out some wood, and he will get uh, a larger aquarium soon. And he will be on display for other people. Um, he, he will still be mine. I'm not. I'm not getting rid of him. But he is massive, and he is. I think about. Um, Let's say 65, 60 centimeters, something like that. He is huge. And he's been with us for a long, long time. And he used to have his girlfriend, but she died of cancer, sadly. But he, uh, well, I always loved him also because he, he always looked to me like a sweet boy but he can be really a bully when he's without a fish he used to be in the tank without a fish and uh, at a certain point he became um, a pain <laughs> so he got his own tank with the female but the female died and now he's alone so i'm gonna look for another female for him because that really makes made him happy he was very active and now he's not that active he just hangs around and it's funny how they can hang like this like mid-air and um as you can see the there's one whisker going down the funny thing is they can use all the whiskers separately of independently i think you call it like that i was filming his belly because i wanted to show you why he's a male but i i couldn't so sorry Next time. And uh, I also like... Uh, oh, I think it's funny that his eyes... Oh, look at the whiskers. This is my hand. And one side of the whiskers is almost as large as my whole hand. Look at this. Wait, I need to get down a little bit. Can you see it? Look at it. It's massive. Yeah, then you can understand how big he is. And um, we really, really love him. And it's weird though. He has this, this, uh, 
Oh, you see that? Yeah, I tried to zoom in on the top of the whiskers, but I cannot. There are also sensors. And he's touching everything with the tip of the whisker. It's really nice to see, though. And for this kind of catfish, he has rather a small mouth. But he can really <laughs> damage some fins with his soccer mouth. <laughs> Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, his eyes, they really look a little bit like um, um, axolotl eyes, I think. They also have this blank stare, and now and then they they move. Oh, I'm gonna, let me get some pellets in, so you can see how he graces through the gravel. And likes to just mess it up. He eats um, fish, mussels and pellets. He likes to eat uh, uh, snails also. He likes to eat uh, everything he can eat. Well, he doesn't really eat. You know, when he was in with the other fish, he doesn't really eat other fish. But he just damaged them. He was just a big, big bully. And in the beginning, everything went well. And after a while, he when he gets uh, too comfortable... He's just uh, becoming a big, big bully. And uh, even the big Chana had her fins like shredded. And I believe um, in the daytime, well, when the lights are on, he will, he will try it. But then they see him coming. So the fin shredding uh, thing... Happens when the fish are asleep at night and then he's awake and he's just bullying them. So that's why he's in uh, solitude, solidaire, solid. Uh, well, that's why he's alone. <laughs> and as you can see, I just leave all the algae on the rocks. I also like it, uh, it, uh, it looked natural. So, um, and if you don't know it, they uh, can breathe air from uh, up top. And they, um, so they can breathe underwater, but they also can get air from, um, out, out the water, out of the water. This big wart, how do you call it, dimple on his head, he had it his whole life. This was also a rescue because somebody had him when he was smaller and he uh, was terrorizing all the other fish and they put him all by himself in a very small aquarium and you could really see he was really depressed so yeah that's how we got them uh, got him and it's been uh, it's been a cu couple of years and he's he's grown to uh, a massive massive catfish and they say that they can um, walk well they can walk not with their feet, because they don't have feet, but if the surface is wet, they can go from uh, one lake, pond, or whatever, one water place to another, if it's wet, and they can stay out of the water for two days, something like that, I think. I believe that's what I read. So, yes, um, he's a big boy, and uh, I like him. Because he's also very sweet. I used to uh, cuddle him. You know, I could scratch his back and he would love it. But uh, after he had his female, he was more interested in her. And now he just doesn't want to be touched. So we don't touch him. We just kiss the glass. <laughs> and then he will come up to the glass and he will put his whiskers. Yeah, try to feel you through the glass, I think. Something like that. Well... He's still a cutie though. And uh, again, uh, I'm going to leave it with this. I hope to see you soon and in another video. And I wish you a very lovely day today. And um, if you can hit that bell or if you can uh, subscribe, please do notifications. Well, everything you would love to do or like to do for me. Thank you very much. I love you guys. Bye bye.